Welcome, everyone. Have you heard about an amazing amusement park? This park is made entirely from someone's imagination, and it becomes in reality. As long as their imagination continues, the park comes to life along with the magical creatures that run it. Imagine a world where animals are in charge and magic is everywhere you look. Well, I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let me take you on a journey to this enchanting wonderland. At the beginning of our story, we enter a magical park called Wonderland. Here, we meet a blue bear, a wild bear, the beaver brothers, pokey pine, and a chimpanzee who bring life to the entire amusement park. They entertain every guest with their magical abilities, and the chimpanzee, named Peanut, has a special marker that he uses to create new things with his creative ideas every day. Now, let's fast forward to the present time. We meet a girl named June, who has written her own story with the help of her mom's imagination. She has created this wonderland in her mind, and she believes that all the things in her story are real. June's mom tells her that she is the soul of this wonderland and that everything she imagines is true. She just needs to keep believing and whisper her ideas to Peanut, the chimpanzee. June loves the wonderland so much that she wants to make it a reality. She decides to build a roller coaster with the help of her friends. They gather small things and create a makeshift roller coaster, but unfortunately, riding it turns out to be dangerous. June and her friend have an accident, but luckily, they are not hurt. However, June's neighbors complain to her parents, and as a result, June is sent to army school. But June promised her mother that she should stay at home and take care of the people around her. In response, June and her mother transform the entire house into a magical wonderland filled with toys. However, June's mother's health starts deteriorating gradually, and one day she informs June that she needs to go away for a few days, entrusting June with the responsibility. After bidding her mother goodbye, June feels lonely and loses the courage to visit Wonderland without her. She keeps her toys aside and closes the Wonderland. With time, June becomes boring but avoids going out alone and not playing with friends. One day, her uncle and aunt visit her house with wheelers for June's Wonderland, but June gets angry and burns all the maps. A small piece flies outside, catching June's attention. Realizing her father needs her, June decides not to leave and takes care of him. However, her father sends her to a math camp, which she initially resents. Upon opening her bag, June finds a note from her father expressing how much he misses her. This makes June believe that her father truly needs her, so she asks her friend to pretend to be sick in order to leave the camp. With her friend's help, June gets off the bus and runs towards her home. Along the way, she discovers a small piece of her Wonderland map, leading her to a dark forest. There, she finds a slider and decides to take a chance by sitting on it. The slider starts moving, taking June on a thrilling roller coaster ride. Soon June reaches the Wonderland in reality. After that, June discovers all the magical toys she had imagined. Then, all of a sudden, these toys appear in front of her and urgently tell her to run away, because someone has attacked them. Curious, June asks who they are running away from and what happened to Wonderland. The animals in Wonderland, however, first ask June who she is and how she arrived here. After introducing herself, June learns that Wonderland is in a terrible state and there is not even Peanut. To make matters worse, the toys given to the children have turned into zombies, including the chimpanzees. Just as June is about to leave, Greed appears and fills her in on everything. Greed explains that Boomer, one of the animals, has a habit of sleeping all the time, even after saying something. Together, the animals inform June that darkness has taken over Wonderland and the clockwork swing has stopped working. Until it is fixed, darkness will continue to prevail. Suddenly, the chimpanzee zombies attack everyone again. June realizes that she is the one who caused all of this and feels responsible for finding a solution. She suggests that she might be able to fix the clockwork swing and offers her help to the animals. After much time, the animals agree and guide June on how to reach the other side and fix everything. Together, they attempt to repair the clockwork swing, but it proves to be a challenging task. Despite the difficulties, they manage to reach a large mountain. However, the chimpanzee zombies start breaking the glass wall, causing it to shatter and everyone starts falling down. Fortunately, 
Everyone else is saved, but June remains at the top. Boomer, in an attempt to save June, throws an umbrella that helps her reach the bottom. However, as June runs, she suddenly experiences zero gravity. It turns out that all of these events were just June's imagination. As she continues further, she encounters Peanut, who June believes can fix everything. To her surprise, Peanut reveals that he is still alive, but refuses to go with her and claims he can't fix anything. June then reminds Peanut that he no longer hears the voice that haunted him. Peanut is shocked and asks how she knows about it. June confesses that the voice belonged to her mom and she was responsible for the darkness that had spread because she had neglected everything. However, she now wants to help everyone and they need to escape first. While being chased by chimp zombies, Peanut assists June and throws her out to safety. Unfortunately, Peanut remains behind. Once outside, June informs the other animals that Peanut is still alive and they must save him. The animals question why they should trust her since everything happened because of her. June admits that she initially felt helpless after her mom left and the darkness was her fault, but now she is determined to make things right. Despite receiving no help, June decides to take matters into her own hands and enters an auto robot. She operates it skillfully and even builds a bridge. The animals begin to believe that June genuinely wants to help them. However, someone needs to test the bridge, so Boomer, who has just woken up, is placed on the roller coaster that Gus and Cooper used to ride. Just as Boomer is about to move forward, a crow distracts him, causing him to accidentally slide in the opposite direction. Unfortunately, the roller coaster on the other side is completely broken. June informs everyone about their work, but despite that, Boomer rapidly approaches. With the help of a rope, they attempt to catch Boomer, but they all end up falling together. However, they manage to survive by getting stuck in a tree. They realize that everything is happening in the darkness and chimp zombies are sending them inside. They discover that Peanut has also been captured and is being sent into the darkness. June decides to rescue him and sits on a wheel to enter the same darkness where Wonderland's belongings are. She calls out to Peanut and encourages him to believe in himself. June whispers in Peanut's ear, motivating him to use his marker and create slides. Inspired, Peanut starts using his marker to perform magic. Soon, straw slides begin to appear, and when they come out, their entire animal team reunites. Nearby, June finds a small Wonderland map and learns how to fix the clockwork swing. She explains to Peanut that her name is written on it, and as soon as he writes her name with the straws, the swing will be fixed. When the swing bears June's name, the darkness instantly disappears. In the blink of an eye, the magic unfolds and transports us to the enchanting Wonderland once again. The brilliance of this place remains unchanged. She arrives, and everything falls into perfect harmony. Now, it is time for June to bid farewell. But before she leaves, everyone assures her that she will return to this magical realm. With a promise in her heart, June assures them that she will never lose hope and will always nurture her imagination. As she departs, the animals, Peanut, Boomer, Greta, Steve, Gus, and Cooper, delight the children with their entertaining antics. June begins her journey back home, reaching her destination in no time. She confesses to her father, asking for forgiveness for her absence throughout the night. Surprisingly, her father reveals that he had only left her half an hour ago. June decides to bring out all her toys and recreates the Wonderland once more. In a flash, the Wonderland is restored, and she eagerly seeks the help of her friends. Meanwhile, June's mother returns home, fully recovered. Overjoyed, June shares her incredible adventures in the Wonderland with her mother. She reveals her plans and whispers new ideas into the ear of her toy, Peanut. Inside the Wonderland, Peanut brings these ideas to life through magic. And so, my friends, this magical movie comes to an end. This story teaches us the importance of believing in our positive imagination as it will eventually manifest in reality. I would love to hear your thoughts on this movie. Until next time, Tata bye bye.